All right, you guys, today we are going to learn how to make cash envelopes. A lot of people ask me, how is it that you make your cash envelopes? And basically, I buy downloadable, downloadable cash envelope um, copies. I cut them out and then I laminate them myself. So here it is. I am, I am a fan of the Budget Mom. I love her cash envelopes. They're super cute. They're feminine. They're colorful. And she has a bunch of designs that you can go ahead and download, print out in whatever paper you want. I use 28 pound paper in case you're interested. I cut it out and then I laminate them so it can make and last longer. So this is a Budget Mom cash envelope. I just laminated it and I use it. So the first thing you want to do is find yourself whatever cash envelope you want to use. I like Budget Mom. You can go to Michael's and just cut out their um, cardstock that they have, like many shops do, and laminate them yourselves. But this only works if you have a laminator, the way I do my cash envelopes. You can go ahead and just do 28 pound paper and use tape and it'll work great because I've had that before. The only thing is that they really tear, they wear down really easily, which makes you then have to print more which is not only a waste of ink, but it's also a waste of paper and a waste of your time because doing this almost on a weekly, bi-weekly basis is not a, it's, it's not a, it's not a look. But anyhow, when you um, download and print them out, they come out in these big old, let me move these so you can really focus on them. They come out in these big sheets. My printer has a problem with where it doesn't like to print out the solid color. It, we I just gotta work with it. It just makes a new pattern on top of a pattern that's already there. This is just by mistake. And then you just choose the ones you want. They come blank. So let me use the darker one so you can really see. They come with blank um, spots so you can write in what it is, what you need it for. Then you get the category the amount and then you have your transaction lock that you'll use for that week or for the time being that you're going to use this. I don't use this. I'm not a fan. I never use the blank spots either. I basically just grab a sticker and put it on top of the lamination and that's what I do. These, I've had these for a while. I mean these can still keep going on strong. I just got bored of them so I'm here to make new ones. So here they are. I chose the colors I wanted. And this time around, I decided to, you know, write in what I wanted this to be. This just was inspired by Romina because Romina has like such beautiful writing that she does for her cash envelopes. So she writes in what it is. So I chose the blue, another blue, a purple, and another purple. And like I said, this is totally my printer's, it, it, it's what my printer does. Um, it does not come in these stripes, it's just one solid purple color, one solid pastel, one solid, not what my printer does, but you know, I guess it's some character. So anywho, I cut it around, so you're gonna need some scissors, because you're gonna have to cut this sheet into this thing. And honestly, you don't even need these flaps. And this flap is optional. And I'll show you why. Because the flap I keep because I like to use the laundry and I put change in here. The change won't come out if you the flap is there. That's just how it works. But if you really don't care to like have change in there, you can just have this snipped off and then it'll be like a regular vertical opening which I do have most of my envelopes just not on me for some strange reason even though I'm filming this video but anyhow I'll show you like these are um, Urela's um, cash envelopes they'll just open like this the only thing is that they won't have a pattern like hers which is really nice but you'll do have that white backing anyhow so you cut them out, you write what you want on them, you can write it up here and here and here. I just write it in the center and then I place them on laminate um, sheets. I do have a laminator so in case you don't have a laminator this probably isn't the way for you to go but you can actually just use tape. 
I have extra stronghold tape from Scott. The super hold tape. And this works just the same and that does not come off, trust me. And that's why you pay extra for it because that is an expensive tape because it's such a strong hold. It kind of annoys me sometimes because you can actually rip it if you put it down and it's wrong. So just know that. So I'm going to go get my laminator and we'll get started. Okay, before we move any further to laminating the cash envelopes that I have right here, I wanted to discuss the laminator. So the a laminator that I have is called the Pembroke 9 inch advanced thermal laminator. I got this from Aldi's. I, I think it was maybe back in the fall or early spring. They have these for sale. They started like at $25, then they came down to $13, and then at the end they ended up clearancing them out for like $9.99. So I hopped on that and I bought the laminator, hold on, and the laminating sheets. The lamin laminating sheets cost me $5. So I got the laminator and the laminating sheets from all of these for a total of $15. The laminating sheets were... Um, Five dollars for 80 sheets and this was $9.99 and this came with a starter kit of like um, 10 pouches I believe so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up it's very like old looking kind of thing it looks really outdated but um, from what I've used this this does the job okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and then hopefully you guys can see because this thing is pretty big and my desk is pretty tiny for, um, for recording but Let's so if you're wondering how it looks outside the box, it's just this, but that's how big it is. And then it comes with this pouch full of laminating. They have like the 8.5 by 11 pouches, photo pouches, and like, I don't know what size this is. Like the journal, like the travel journal kind of size. And then of course your extension cord. But you guys, you guys want to know something funny? The instructions say, plug this in and wait until the light turns red. Literally, you guys, I was waiting for a light to turn it red. Like, just bloop. Okay, here it is. What it actually means is that wait until that sticker view in there turns red. Right now, it's black. And then it'll slowly turn red. It's like a paper that turns or some type of material in there that turns red. It's not an actual light. So, you, I was just literally one day just like waiting on this and waiting on it and I was like you know what I'm gonna try it and I'm just gonna stick the plastic through and I don't care and then it worked and then I was like that is red it just it's black it was black and then it turned red it just it was hilarious so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in I'm gonna give myself a lot of space because the thing needs to come out this way and that way and hopefully you guys get to see it if not I've tried my best all right my desk is gonna look hella like messy because so got a bunch of stuff in here that you know I gotta have on but anyhow I just wanted to show you the back right here it has an off and on button you just click it onto the side to turn it on and it has an ABS off and on button and this is just in case your um, plastic gets jammed that has happened to me before but that's my fault because I put it in sideways and once it starts feeding it just starts squishing this way instead of just a solid straight um, line so this is for jamming and then the on and off button. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to turn it on. It starts blowing air or something in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. Hopefully you guys can still see it in frame. Come on little fake plants. Out of my way. You guys didn't know. I'm obsessed like with cactuses or cacti. So I have like a bunch of little fake plants that are like succulents and cacti and stuff like that so I'm gonna put it right here maybe like that you'll be able to see it turn um, red and then I'm just gonna go ahead and lay out my cash envelopes you only need one of these sheets and it's recommended to run it twice under the laminator you know to completely seal the edges so that's exactly what I'm gonna do this is one sheet right Yep, one sheet. That's all you need. Well, I might need two because I have like four cash envelopes. So let me go ahead and pull out one more just in case. Yeah. 
actually it might be a little tiny baby one in case it fits in here but we're gonna figure it out Anywho, let me grab some scissors because I decided that I'm going to cut off the side tabs because I really don't need these side tabs. I just need this big flap because I, I carry change and I'm trying to be um, on my check-ins, my weekly check-ins that I'm planning on doing. I'm trying to be like very consistent. I want to show you everything like the change and the bills. But if not, just know that everything gets thrown in this change jar and then I will then roll it up to have you know, a debt payment when it gets full. So, let me go get my scissors and cut those off and I'll be right back. Can you see it? It's kind of turning red. Kind of. Not all the way. Alright, you see? It turned red. So, this thing, this baby's ready to go. I'm not ready to go, clearly, since I gotta cut off these tabs. Because this is only, if you're like, um, taping them up. You know, the budget mom does, like, offer, you know, the security of the cash envelope. But for me, I don't really need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fold it at the line. She has a line right over here. Fold it right about there. And like I said, this is this is 28 pound paper, so it's kind of thick. And I'm gonna laminate it just like this, cause when I take it out, I'm gonna slit it right here to create that open pocket, and then I'll have I'll be able to store it in there. So this is one. I just gotta remember where the edge is at. So edges there so I'm gonna put edging here I didn't think you can see that but if you can yay if you can't I'm sorry now I'm not an expert at laminating so don't come for me because I I really don't laminate that often these puppies last forever so I'm pretty happy about it uh, of course, you guys can always go the cheaper route and just order your cash envelopes. I do recommend Ure Urela um, from Saving S Savvy Savings. She's the one I get my um, Disneyland cash envelopes. They're so gorgeous. And then, of course, um, I recommend um, Blackberry Hill Sheep Shop. Um, I use her cash envelopes for um, my sinking funds. So those are the two babes that I recommend for um, cash envelopes. And plus they're the only ones I feature basically on my channel because those are the only ones I've actually kept for um, cash envelope reasons. And of course budget mom because these are just simple DIYs that everyone can do on their own. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right. <clears throat> that is done. This is for the first round. Don't mind those spots on my cash envelope. They're just grease stains because I guess I was eating fries one day and I touched this while I was cutting them. So anyway, let me bring this to the center. And we're going to slowly let this roll in. Oh, this always makes me nervous. Does it make you nervous? It makes me nervous. I'm going to plop it right in there. No. Okay, maybe it is from the back. Maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, come over here. But it does melt the, the, the plastic right away. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Oh my god, this is so hard to do, you guys. Is it from the back? Lord. It is from the back, you guys. It's from the back. You see, it'll just automatically feed it on its own. That was crazy as hell. <laughs> So, if you have a prim book, it's from the back, not from the front. Oh, man. It's been a while, you guys. It's been a while. Okay, don't judge me. 
try and error. I think I, I literally, when I laminated something, it was like months ago. That's how long these cash envelopes last because they're plastic. So it's beautiful. I'm going to move all this stuff. Oh my god, you need space. Okay, so it released it. And that's how they look currently. So they have this big plastic piece. Um, for me, they have some air bubbles all around. They're a little too big for my liking. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and reinsert it. Like that. Um, let me zoom you guys in. Like that, it'll really seal it fully. Just trying to not to jam it. Because I would hate for that to happen. Yeah, just let it feed it in and you don't need to feed it in too much. It'll just grab it and it'll take it and go. It doesn't hurt the ink. It doesn't do anything to them. It just, just melts the plastic into one. That's all it does. And it creates a vacuum seal. Now that's the only thing you need to be careful about, about the vacuum seal. That when you cut around the edges, you don't cut that vacuum seal. Because if you cut the vacuum seal, then you basically allow the plastics to undo each other. And then you'll get like gapping and holes within the spacing of the paper and the plastic laminating sheet. So just be aware of that. Beautiful. Now I'm really happy. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot, honey. Careful, don't burn yourself. And now you basically have beautiful, long-lasting cash envelopes. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same for the other ones, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my second sheet. Lord. Just be careful. It's hot. Insert it and say goodbye to it. I haven't had an issue of these slipping out because since there is some type of like static friction, it does hold it into place. So I don't find an issue of it ever slipping out. But, you know, you can never tell so much when you're doing this. Because honestly, I praise all these um, cash envelope shops. These are sometimes a B-I-T-C-H to do. They take forever to do. And just the cutting... And just ensuring that, you know, the cash envelopes are nice and pretty. You know, takes patience and practice. Also, I do want to mention, when you laminate your sheets, you might see some crinkling and wrinkling. Honestly, that is no one's fault. It's just how the plastic takes to the heat. So if you ever get some cash envelopes and there's some crinkling and there's some waves onto your, um, to your cash envelopes, it's not the shop owner. It's, it's just literally how the plastic takes to the heat. Uh, is there ways to ensure it doesn't happen? Maybe, but probably half of the time it happens. And don't stress yourself too much. Ain't no one going to notice your little crinkles except for you. And if it really does bug you, cash envelopes might not be your thing. But yeah, it looks beautiful nonetheless. I'm just going to go ahead and making it a second time. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I do have a guillotine that can cut it. I haven't tried it on actual plastic yet, so I usually just keep my scissors. But this is if you just want an option to do cash envelopes at home to save you some money. Like you see, I have the option to like do cash envelopes at home. I choose sometimes, and then sometimes I'm just like, girl, just send it to me. I ain't got time for all of this. Lord, I don't got time for nothing. I have zero patience half of the time. All right, and we're done, and we're going to turn this off. We're going to let it cool. Until that turns black, I'm going to keep it to the side real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is the finished product. You see there's some crinkling. You can feel the little crinkles. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. I didn't end up using this, which is good. Saved myself a little plastic pouch. And the size of the budget moms, they're, they're pretty big. So they do take half a sheet for each time you laminate one. But the good thing about the budget moms is that you can actually hole punch these. And there will still be room enough to like fit your cash envelopes 
inside, you know, uh, a ring binder. And a good example is um, Romina. I'll link her channel down below in the video. She transferred her cash envelopes or sinking funds into a uh, planner, just like I have for my sinking funds. And she hole punched the budget mom's um, envelopes and placed them in there. So these are big enough to hole punch them and put them in ring binders. Um, or just to have them like this. Now you do have the option with the budget mount to also cut off this top um, flap. You can just have it like a regular opening. But since I do have change and I kind of want to be good about showing you guys change, I am leaving the, um, the flaps on. So let me go ahead and get my guillotine so I can cut it and hopefully it cuts good and I'll be right back. Right, if you didn't know what a guillotine is, this is what it is. At least this is how I looked it up and this is what came up. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my cash envelope up in here. I'm going to move this to the side, honey boo. Thank you very much. Now I can't really cut. You can do this by hand, but I really can't cut because of my injury. My hand will be inflated until there's no tomorrow. So that's the only reason why I don't do it. Now what you want to do... I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there's a little vacuum seal right up in here. I don't think you'll be able to catch it on camera, but there's a little vacuum seal there that you do not want to cut because it'll open the plastic up and then there's no get point. Get it nice and ready. Let me move this over here. Make sure it's nowhere near the vacuum seal. Make sure. All right. Press down on it and cut through. Cuts beautiful. Of course, when you cut um, in a rectangle, square shape, just make sure to round your corners because this can be a little bit too sharp if you mess with it too much. So go ahead and cut it. Oh Lord, you okay, baby? And I should do it. Hopefully I'm not near the vacuum seal. And then the rest we're going to do by hand. I just can't be doing all of this cutting because my hands won't, they won't be able to take it. Now if you mess it up, well, it's not the end of the world. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and... Put that in. Okay, so you see I got my cash envelope. I gotta cut it on the side, so then I'm gonna go ahead and do that for now. And then I'll do the rest off camera, but just so you guys can see what is it that I'm doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and curve it a bit. Just trying to make sure I don't hit the vacuum seal. Or just the seal itself. So if you ever wonder why there's just so much plastic on the side, it's just because if they go past that, then honey, your cash envelope is messed up for life. Go ahead and round this out. When shops round this out, it makes me so happy. When they don't, I'd be like, really? Really? Anywho. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get for me. That already hurt in my hand. My hand hurting. So we're not going to cut no more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this vacuum seal. As you can see, the flap is here. However, you can't get to your cash envelopes because it's it, it's sealed up in there. So look, this is how it looks. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. So then what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a blade. Where's my blade? So unprepared, you guys. Oh, here it is. Grab this blade. Zoom on in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're going to pass this blade right up in here. We're not going to go past that because that's where the ceiling is. So we're going to make sure it almost touches it and we're going to cut all the way across. We want to cut the seal from here but not from the edges, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully this thing is sharp. I'm going to pass my blade right up in there sounds beautiful and BAM 
Now you got an open one. Yep, there it is. Now you got yourself a cash envelope. All you got to do now is you got to bring this down. The budget mom has a, a line where you can uh, fold it in. I mean, we can do that, but I like to fold it all the way in. Like, I like to fold it right up in here. Or as, as much as it lets me. So, I'm going to go ahead and fold it. My camera go, my camera overheating right now. So, we're going to see how it goes, okay? So, we're going to... This requires a little strength. And a lot of determination. Now, if you don't like it how you fold in it, I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do it after that. Because once you fold it, well, the, the crinkle line stays there. So the Crinkle stays there. And that's how it's going to look. Okay, so I decided against the fold right here where the budget mom um, had it. And I just went ahead and folded it where I put the, I slit the line. And now it folds beautifully. I mean, it's going to like stick out like that from until like you break in this little little baby right here but if you do it with uh where the budget mom does has it you will get that crinkling i don't know you can't really see it though you'll get that wrinkling there but if you fold it in where you made that line it'll it'll fold e so easily and you don't have to worry about it but anyhow that is how i do the cash envelopes so i'm gonna go ahead and finish them off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these under a heavy book so they can, you know, flatten out a bit. And then we're going to stuff them in my next cash envelope, okay? okay so I, here's are the ones I cut already. The only thing I'm missing to do is slit it. And I just wanted to say if if you laminate these and you keep the, the flat, you are more than welcome to chop it off if you don't like it. Because uh, when you do that, uh, you won't affect anything else. You won't affect the envelope. You will just, you know, affect the opening of how it does without the flap so if you get you don't want this at the end of the day you can just cut it right off and it will be great so let me go ahead and open the slits one more time beautiful now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it how it wants to be folded. The envelope will tell you how it wants to be folded. But if you follow these lines, it'll, I mean, it'll take a little longer for it to get used to it, but it'll still do it at the end of the day. You might get some folding right here, but it really doesn't matter. It's just up to, up to you how you be feeling. And I just like to bring a, a scissor just to get it a little bit up in there. Up in the ridge is something I can be doing all the time. And I have my cash envelope. This one is a little bit more propped up because I double folded it. But that's essentially how it is. If you're wondering, no, I don't sell these. No, I don't plan on selling cash envelopes. No, I do recommend shops. I'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out. But here you go. I have my cash envelopes. Again, these are designs from the Budget Mall. They're downloadable um, designs that you can purchase from her shop. She even has some free ones in her free re resource library. They're not horizontal, they're vertical, but you can almost do the same, same thing. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And you will be seeing these in my future <laughs> videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.